in Stacking Up today, we are talking about Tesla with Charles Moon of Trading Advantage. Always a great guy to have on our show. So thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me. So what do you think about this stock? This is a car company. What about production? They have these astronomical amount of deposits that they place for the Model 3, and they don't have the assembly company or the, the the ability to be able to meet that demand. So, Which is a little frightening if you're investing. You want yeah, them to be able to pump out cars like a GM or a Ford or Chrysler. Yeah, exactly. And, and the demand is there, absolutely. But sure. what about what happens when they fail to meet that demand? Well, of course, it's going to be a negative result. You know, I'm actually bearish on Tesla at the moment right now. Uh, I'm short Tesla. You know, from a technical standpoint, they're showing some weakness. I just believe it's a short-term opportunity. Doesn't mean that I don't believe in Elon Musk. I believe this is a man that'll change the landscape of the world. I really believe that. But all things said, when we talk about technical patterns, we talk about you know the basis of the company and success and failures. You know, we don't want to buy into the hype too much. We understand stock prices are future valuation. But when we look at the current state, weakness is weakness, and I want to take advantage of weakness. The other hype I'm hearing is that. Tesla will be a big hit with millennials. They're going to want these electric cars, and now that they've dropped the price with their new Model X, maybe that will drive some business here. Oh yeah, that is absolutely true. And that, you know, moving forward, maybe 10 years down the road, we're gonna see a huge, huge demand for millennials. I have a lot of friends that have put down the deposit. I consider it myself, but I also knew that there was gonna be no chance that I'm gonna get the car at the time that they want. And, you know, I'm gonna need a car to drive around at that time. You know, if I, if I try to bank on getting that Model 3 and then I'm going to have to wait three and a half years, which is going to be that somewhat projection for you to, from, from the moment that you actually start making the payments to you actually receive your car, well, there's going to be a lot of anger behind that. So, you know, like I said, I believe in the hype. I believe in Elon Musk. I really do believe he's going to be a game changer, so to speak. But in terms of production, in terms of the company itself, I just believe that they're going to fail in that aspect. You are going to sell the hype. Sell the hype. 